So in looking at our takeoff path, we have the four different segments of climb, plus something over here called the in-route climb. Now, it's important to notice that some things that can affect our climb segments and the weight at which our airplane can be at to meet these climb requirements are things like the temperature that day, whether there's a headwind or not, for example, um, how the airplane performs, so what engines it has on it, um, and in particular, obstacles. So say we have a tower out here, and we have a tower sitting off here off the end of the runway, and the airplane needs to maintain a certain obstacle clearance from it. Well, you'll see that in the slides to come. But um, if, say example, the airplane's climbing out, it has an engine failure, it's not going to climb as well as it did before. And we can have to make sure, as dispatchers and pilots and crew members, that we don't load the airplane so heavy that when it, if it would have the engine failure, we can't have it loaded so heavy that its climb performance suffers so much that it's not going to have an adequate margin of safety and hits or gets too close to an obstacle, mountain, tower, or something out, uh, out on the path of departure. So another way that this maybe could be dealt with is you could have a different departure procedure where there is a mountain out there, uh, something out there fixed. The crew could have a different departure procedure to take it away from that obstacle. And so again, then maybe there wouldn't be something in the way. But weight compliance, taking off weight off the airplane, that's really key in making sure that we have a level of safety if something were to go wrong in the departure of the flight, engine failure being the, the most common scenario of what we'd be looking at here. So reducing the takeoff, reducing the weight that the airplane is loaded at is really key here for making sure we're in compliance with all these requirements.